Good evening, Internet. Hope that you are doing well. We are back with another night of strange and scary games. Tonight we've got Midnight Scenes, A Safe Place, which is the fifth episode of Midnight Scenes. Uh, I have played through the other four episodes. I will link those in the description if you want to watch all of them. Uh, and we will go through this one. New game. This came out of in March of this year. I haven't seen it or played it or know anything about it. What's up, eyeball friend? Phil Lawner, 23 years old. The four walls of his room have become his stronghold, a safe haven where he can take shelter from the outside world. In tonight's episode, his new life will be threatened by terrible nightmares that will take him to unsuspected limits. Turn off the lights and Im immerse yourself in this frightful story. Welcome to a new dimension of horror. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. That escalated quickly. Damn nightmares. Phil. Indeterminate day, 9.20 a.m. Healthy life will have to wait. 12 steps. No activity registered this month. We're in a rehab, Elmer, Washington. I've been living in my bedroom for 30 days. I remember the moment I opened the door for the last time. Looking into the dark hallway, I froze. A sense of intense dread overcame me. I could only lock the door and hide under the bed sheets. I haven't gone out since then. From that day forward, I stopped being Phil, the reliable, well-behaved, hard-working son, and became a parasite in my parents' home. His father likes to remind me I'm ashamed to my family and this community. There are times when I feel like I should try to go out just one more time, in case it's all a bad dream. But it never works. The shadows keep harassing me day and night. Faceless nightmares that invade my mind. What do they want from me? My sanity hangs by a thread. I'm only able to satisfy my basic needs. Everything else is beyond my brain's capacity. I'm starving. Let's see what I can get for breakfast. What do we have on the menu today? Pea bottles, gross. Uh, corned beef. Perfect, now I just have to heat it up.
My hands are frozen. I need to just warm up the room. Where did I leave the lighter? I must have put it somewhere around here. Oh, there you are. How did you know up inside a pot of noodles? It was inside a pot of noodles? I found the lighter. I just need to turn the heater on. What kind of heater is that? Ah, much better. Spying on the neighbors is not exactly virtuous, but what the hell. It's not like I have many ways to relieve my loneliness here. Mr. Timbers fills the tank every day, sometimes more than once. I wonder where he's driving. What's that red tree back there? Uh, hello? You, you don't have a comment about this? This seems very foreboding. So there's some kind of like red thing back here. And as we all know, red means scary, so I'm worried about it. Is it a barn? Kind of looks like a barn. This is a really cool parallax effect. I really like this, Octavi. Or Susan, whichever one of you did this. Bobby. Mrs. Potter is a hardcore atheist. Our former pastor learned his lesson uh, fast. Our former pastor learned his lesson fast, but poor Father Adams moved here just a few days ago. Uh, no comment about the omens, huh? Noel. And there's Brian, of course. Damn idiot. You don't have any chance with Noel. Leave her alone. Can't you see she's in a hurry? Hayashi Groceries. Noel Hayashi, the only person in this damn town who doesn't judge me. Or maybe she, maybe she just hides her disgust. I used to work in her mother's grocery store during the holidays to earn some extra money. I miss that life so much. Nowadays, Noel sneaks into my garden once or twice a week to bring me food. If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead for sure. Ah, mm. uh, Noel. You're such an extraordinary human being. Ooh. 
Do we have to? My bladder is going to burst. I hope I have some empty bottles left in the closet. This one will do. Oh. Ah, that's better. I'll put the bottle back in the closet. Two, three, four, five. Five bottles full to the brim with pee. I think it's time to throw them in the trash can. Can't just throw the bottles from up here. I'll need a bag and a rope to slide them down carefully into the trash can. A bag to put the bottles in. Great. Now all I need is a rope to slide the bottles down into the trash can. Um. Need to find a rope. Yes, I, I know. I'm not sure what kind of rope you would like. Anime con? Somebody went to anime con with uh, a friend, it looks like. Did you go to anime con with Noel? A souvenir from the hunting and fishing expeditions with father. Finally, I can put this thing to practical use. I'll have to lower the bottles carefully inside the bag so they don't break. Here we go. Oops. Damn wind. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. <gasps> ah, shit. I cut myself with the fishing line. So much blood. Texas Chainsaw Massacre levels of gore. Did I tell you guys that I cut my hand when I was living in China? <sighs> Philip, what was that noise? Was everything all right? Are you hungry, dear? I baked some pancakes for you. With syrup and extra butter. Your favorite. Philip? Honey, it's been exactly a month since you locked yourself in your room. Your sister and I miss you very, very much. And your father is losing his patience. Do you think you could come out just this one time and have breakfast, breakfast with us like a family? I want you, Mother. It's just that I can't. <laughs> it's okay. I'm leaving the pancakes right here behind the door. This afternoon, I'll pick up the I'll pick them up uneaten, as always. I have everything I need in here. God, why does he have to punish me like this? 
Am I such a bad mother? Ugh. She's gone. Finally. I have to patch this wound before I bleed out. This sock will do. I only wore it twice. Gross. Mental note. Next time I slide a trash bag out the window, I should use gloves. What a mess. I hate seeing mother suffering. Unlike father, I know she tries to understand my condition. I'd like to tell her that I feel safe here. But I'm so ashamed of it all that words get stuck in my throat. Every day is exactly the same to me, indistinguishable from the rest. Every day is exactly the same. Just sleep, eat, watch TV. But it's this constant routine that helps me stay sane. If I'm lucky enough to not have mother and father knocking on my door, I consider it a great day. This reminds me of the Twilight Zone episode of the old woman who was afraid of death. Hey, Phil. Noel here. Are you ready for our date? Well, what movie are we? What, well, what movie are we watching tonight? Noel convinced me to have a movie night date every few days. To cheer me up. We watch a horror flick together while we chat. I fancy something mild. How about Kill and Let Kill? Good choice. I like romance. She has cat ears on her phone. Twin Pines, 1986. A lake town full of drunk teenagers celebrating summer. Nothing can go wrong. Hey, how's your day going? Slightly better now that I'm talking to you. You're my only friend left. Don't be silly. Honey, did you leave the shed light on? Damn kids, they must have sneaked into my garden again. I'm going to teach them a lesson. I was worried. You haven't logged in for hours. Mm. I'm sorry. I've been dozing on and off the whole day. I'm very tired. Same. This is my last try. Are you sure you don't want my therapist number? Come on. She's a beast. She helped me recover from my depression, and it was a deep one. And she's an anime geek, too. That's a nice extra. Oh, I'll, I'll think about it. I promise. Hello? Anyone there? Jump scare incoming. Probably a cat. <laughs> there it is. One point for me. You've seen too many B movies. So, how are you doing? Well, you know, I'm crazy busy at the grocery store. With this cold, it's home delivery orders all the time. You know how it is. There is no one, honey. I must have let the light on. By the way, I don't know if I should tell you. This year's Anime Con tickets are already available. Uh-oh, slasher time. <laughs> Are you going to Anime Con? I don't know yet. I'm going to be weird. Without you, my loyal cosplay partner. Please don't go without me. I'm sorry. I'm a horrible selfish ass. I fear I won't be sharing these special moments with you again. Of course you will. You'll get over this little bump, you'll see. Anyway, enough movie for me. I'm gonna hit the hay. Mom will kill me if I show up late at the store tomorrow. Bye. 
Good night. I wish I had the strength to go to the, con to the convention with you, Noel. I'm fighting to leave this room every damn second. But in the meantime, I can only go back to my memories of us together, over and over again. From a time when I was capable of being a supportive friend when you needed one. <laughs> I came as soon as I could. What happened? <laughs> Asshole. I'd punch that stupid bastard's face in. I hate him. Who? I don't understand. My father. I got home and found mom crying her eyes out, baking chocolate, chocolate plum cakes. She had already cooked seven batches when I arrived, and the eighth was already in the oven. Do you know what that means? Uh, an excessively high-carb diet? No. No, you idiot. Mom bakes plum cakes like a maniac when she feels depressed. Dad confessed to her this morning that she had sus what she had suspected for months. He's been having an affair with a student in his class. He says he loves her, and now he wants to start a new life with her. And... <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, Noel. I guess we're not enough for him. Fucking son of a... Hey, you know what? You two are better off without him. Hayashi women are true warriors. If he's not up to par, there's the door. Your mother is tough as nails, and you... Look at you. You got your second cosplay award at AnimeCon. Show me your war cry. Phil, stop. This is the least comforting speech in history. <laughs> but thank you. I love you for trying. Another day, just like the rest. I wonder if this is going to be my life from now on. Just taking up space in my parents' house like a piece of furniture. At least I can buy food with my own money. That makes me feel a little less like a parasite. Why don't you get a coding job? Or a transcription job? Or something that you can do from home. Which reminds me, I'm super low on supplies. If I place my order now, Noelle will bring it over this afternoon. I feel like I'm abusing her generosity, but seeing her face up close always brightens my day. Walk a mole, walk a male, legit news. Hayashi Groceries Online and Heart Essence. I think my girl can't stand me anymore. I think she's gonna leave me for that stupid ass Trevor. My back hurts so much. It's definitely a tumor, right? I know it is. I'm defending my thesis tomorrow. I'm going to make a fool of myself. Oh no, I ate after midnight. Am I becoming a gremlin? Do we just get to see all of these people's insecurities? Um, walk a meal? Enlarge your penis now. I'm not putting the cursor near that. Dear Phil. Dear Phil, the Midyard team hopes that everything is going well and that you had a chance to review our invitation to be part of our ski instructor's department once again. We hope that your lack of reply is due solely to scheduling compatibility. In any case, we appreciate... 
appreciate your great work these last three winters. The whole staff, as well as your trainees, will miss you dearly. We wish you the best. Bob Nelson, training program man manager, Middle Yard Ski Resort, Spokane, Washington. I miss you too. Sorry. I'm sorry, Sam. Phil, this is my third and final attempt to contact you. You let me down, dude. This far into the semester and you just disappeared? Where am I supposed to find a new final project partner now? You know how much I need this grant. Not everyone is born wealthy, you know? Fucking shit, dude. I don't need to search anything right now. World news. Read the news on the internet. Massive asteroid could extinguish life on Earth in 10 years. Have you wondered what would happen if the planet we call home was pulverized in massive celestial collision? We may find out very soon. We are totally safe. N34476S will be passing close in astronomical terms, but it won't collide with the Earth, assures Dr. Leffler, leader of the team that made the discovery. Is humanity doomed? Will our grandchildren be the last inhabitants of planet Earth? Subscribe now to learn more. I don't know. That doesn't feel very legit. Legitty. Error. The card on file has expired or is out of funds. Your transaction was declined due to insufficient funds on your account. Please contact your bank. Is there something wrong with my card? Card temporarily canceled. For more information, please contact your bank office as soon as possible. Canceled? Shit. Father. You've gone too far this time. What am I supposed to do now? <gasps> Damn it, Piper. What? Is someone there? Hello? Oh, you're Phil's ghost, aren't you? My brother used to sleep in that room, but he locked himself there a month ago and we never heard from him again. I think he died. Very funny. If the music bothers you so much, you're free to come turn, to, turn the volume down yourself. Damn kid. Piper, my sister, a real whirlwind. She definitely knows how to make her lives less boring. I thought that was an alien because of the black and white. It was just like the, the large alien head in the back, but that's just his his hair. She's strong, Jacob. She'll make it. Is she going to die, Father? Don't be stupid. I need a smoke. Who lives, who dies? That's not for us to decide, Phil. Only God guides our destiny. Keep fighting, sis. When you get out of here, I'll always be by your side, taking care of you. I went from only child to overprotective older brother. Mother told me I had to be Piper's superhero, and I always have her back. Over time, Piper grew up into a difficult girl, and God knows she suffered father's abuse more than anyone would ever deserve. I try to shield her from his wrath, like a real superhero would, but I don't think I do a very good job. And now I lack the strength to be out there for her. I hate myself for that. This house is a mess.
Phil, indeterminate day, 2.45 p.m. <gasps> Won't you even answer? Have you gone deaf in there? I have been working my butt off to give you and your sister a good life. And what do I get in return? A demon child and a slacker. What the hell happened to you, son? You weren't like this before. The situation is getting very tiring. Your poor mother gets up early every morning to bring you your favorite breakfast. And you just leave it here to rot. At least the ants are delighted. Maybe the times come for, come for drastic measures. Like canceling my back bank account? You should thank your mother for stopping me. I would have dragged you out of there by your feet a long time ago. I hate him. I fucking hate him. Drastic measures. Oh God. It's just a panic attack. Calm down. Do we get the mini game from the other? I'm fine. I'd like to see more of that mini game with the breathing and the lungs and the exhaling. My father, my fucking father. Relatable. If belittling, belittling his children was a sport, he would be the unbeatable champion. How could Piper and I compete against our family's history of greatness and success? My great grandfather built a logging empire from the ground up, making him one of the richest businessmen in the region. <laughs> then my grandfather inherited the company. He too was a person of great importance in this town. Oh, but the next chapter is the one he usually skips. In less than 10 years, my father managed to ruin the company and the lives of all the families who depended on it. But no matter what, he still wants everyone to believe he's a big shot. Don't you want to be a big shot? So he spends his time being an asshole to everyone around him. You slept 10 hours, 23 minutes last night. Your batteries are full. Let's go. Elkmer, Elkmer, Washington. I wonder if that's a real place. What a nice way to wake up. Okay, Phil, take a deep breath and focus on your morning routine. Did we really need that? Hey, good evening. What a storm we had. Snowplows are smoking. Anyway. Movie time. Did you know the 60s classic Space Ravagers is on Got Film? Want to watch it? I don't have a subscription anymore. I'm afraid my father canceled my bank account. What? Can he do that without your consent? He can and he did. What a prick. Don't worry though, I have a friends and family sub. An invite is on the way. Something happened this morning. You know, I suspect that Brian has a big crush on me. <laughs> well, he finally asked me out. Hey, 
Are you there? What did you say? I think my reaction was something like... I just told him I was late for work. And we should talk about it later. You didn't reject him? I thought you weren't interested. I know. But we talk a lot lately. He's cool. And funny. And smart. And kinda cute. Anyway, my brain is a mess right now. These signals are abnormal. The Earth is in danger. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Or I'll screw up like always. Have mercy. If you destroy the Earth, you'll kill millions of innocent people. Innocent. You pointed your weapons at Mars, slaying many of my people. But you would be punishing all of humanity for the crimes of a few. Perhaps you have the truth on your side, human. But we have the lasers. He he he. He he he. What a bastard. Yes, thank goodness it's just science fiction. Anyway. Hey, you didn't order food from the online shop yesterday. Is it because of your bank account? I'll talk to mom. She won't mind lending you some food. We do the same with Mrs. Potter at the end of every month. I'm sorry to be a burden. Hey, don't start, okay? You're not a burden or a piece of shit that no one cares about. You're a smart, caring guy going through a rough time. That's all. And you are my guardian angel. Tina? I don't think that's Tina. Ah! Enough! What the fuck do you want from me? Ah. I need to lower my revs. Shit. Did I leave the TV on? Such a mess. Still suffering the effects of this of this unending cold wave. We haven't seen a snowstorm like the like tonight since 1964. Remember to put on your warmest clothes when leaving the house and avoid drawing unless necessary. Remember to put on your warmest clothes when leaving the house and avoid driving unless necessary. And most important of all, don't miss this evening's episode of Midnight Scenes, written and directed by Sylvia Gardner. In Dance of Spring, Miss Lawrence will find her house invaded by a hive of mutant alien ants. Sounds terrifying. Check how bad the storm is. Puppy. You did it again. Well done. What are you? Is that a costume? Is that a Christmas ornament? What is that? What are you? God, my heart is going to explode.
Oh. Yikes. All the collection money will go to fixing the bell tower. This cold wave will end up sweeping the whole town. Never fix a snowman, huh? You shameless rat. There you are, Brian the Stalker. What a coincidence. You always show up when Noel goes to work. Leave me alone. You ruined my life. Don't you dare raise your voice at us. Who do you think you are? I'll teach you how to show some respect. You don't care about me at all. I hate you. Is it true, Jacob? Are we horrible parents? Both of our children hate us. They don't even want to see us. What are you talking about? Of course not. But don't worry, I'll find a way to keep these ingrates under check. We can't allow these attitudes any longer. It's just that... The Lord is testing us, there's no doubt about that. But I know we're doing a good job. Our friends, our neighbors, I hear them in the church. They're whispering about what's happening in this house. Have faith. Everything will be fine. Hey. Hello? Piper, are you okay? Oh, look who decided to break his vow of silence. What happened? <laughs> Leave me alone. You don't give a shit either. Is it because of that boy, Jake? Whatever it is, I'm sure there's a solution. Sure, I can always follow your example and lock myself in a room for a while. He's been acting very weird lately and suddenly... He told me he's trying it again with Amanda, his ex. <laughs> it's all father and mother's doing. They never approved to my... They never approved to my relationship with Jake. They talked to his parents and scared him. But this was just another mark on the wall for father. He rejoices in my humiliation. Mother is too stupid to even care. I'm drowning in this fucking house. And now, just when I need you the most, you lock yourself in there. <laughs> Never felt so alone. Piper, I... No, fuck you. You're just as shitty as them. I'm so sorry, Piper. What? What the hell is this? What's this? A private invitation? Lysistrata? Prospero? Puzzlic Inferno? Public Inferno? There's a face over here. There's a face over here. There's a face. There's an eyeball right there. K 
can't tell where the side is. Do these rotate? It doesn't seem like it. I'm guessing this is the corner. It all seems right so far. the teeth. Waking nightmares. Phil, indeterminate day 9.30 p.m. We slept all day. No, I was not going to like that. Another nightmare. What the hell is wrong with me? I no longer know if I'm sleeping. These shadows that stalk me in my dreams. I feel like they're trying to show me something. Point me to a specific path. But what does it all mean? Shit. My brain is about to melt down. Eighty-five percent uh, of our users achieve their daily goal. You can still do it. Good for them. Is it night already? Not like it matters. I ran out of food. Unless Noel brings me some supplies tomorrow, I'll die here. Not for a few days. I'm freezing. When will the stupid cold wave end? I need to warm up the room. Ugh, much better. Oh, come on. Ran out of gas, of course. What's this? A note? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You are not just as shitty as them. Just that I feel very lonely and overwhelmed. But I love you. Piper. Thanks for the apology note, sis. I know it sucks living in this house. But I'm here for you, no matter what. No matter what, huh? Go back to your coffin, Phil's ghost. I'm tired. Sure. Good night. What should I do now? <gasps> Ugh. Shit. Again? Where's the flashlight, Rose? Looks like a blackout. Your PC's still on. Indeed, the town is pitch dark. The electrical station hasn't ha hasn't been updated since World War II. There's no way it can withstand a cold wave like this. Seriously, Tim? Where's Tim going? 
Do we ever find out where Tim is going? Where's the puppy? Just like the movie. Yikes. Is the church on fire? Are, are we going to talk about the satanic mess that's going on in the church, or...? <gasps> what the hell? Wednesday, 8 a.m. <sighs> Today's my day. <laughs> Happy birthday. My first caffeinated beverage, like a grown up. No pulp, just the way I like it. Oh. I hope it's not a voucher for a motherly hug. Chocolate cupcake, yum. Did you think I forgot? I, w I got up early to bake a batch. Oh, you're the best. Happy birthday, honey. Thanks, mom. Perhaps my coming of age includes a pay raise? <laughs> nice try. You still have years of learning ahead, honey. You can take the afternoon off and celebrate with your friends. Oh, and don't forget to open that envelope. I hope you like the contents. What's up, neighbor? Happy birthday. Brian, you remember. Thank you. Was I the first one? Tell me I was. Yeah, sure. You were. Would you like to hang out with me after work? I have a present for you. Ooh. Really? <laughs> In that case, I'd love to. But I need to go to Larner's first. Phil needs some supplies. Come with me. Uh-uh. Uh, that's probably a bad idea. I don't th think Phil likes me very much, but it's kind of mutual, to be honest. Yeah, I noticed. I'll call you later, okay? Awesome. Have a super duper amazing day. Aww. How cute. Wintry Sleepy Hollow. Yay. So one of the um, achievements that I missed, well, the only achievement I missed in the last game was an ad on the television that said, support your indie devs. Uh, so I went back and got that. I think that this is the one for this game. Support your indie devs, find the mysterious ad. Did we get one too? Who sent me this thing? So creepy. We can't go any further that way. So that's an Easter egg from from the woods.
Good morning, Noel. I'm so glad to see you. Good morning, Father Adams. On your way to work? Yeah, winter is crazy. So many home deliveries. I can imagine. Your mother is very lucky to have you. The Lord and I, on the other hand, have very little work these days. In this cold wave, people don't feel like leaving their houses. Hmm. It does look like a ghost town, doesn't it? Do you think I could convince you to come to Mass this Sunday? I'd be very happy to preach for someone besides the stone walls. Well, I'm not particularly religious. Oh, that's fine. My mentor used to say you don't need to believe in zombies to enjoy your horror movie. <laughs> My sermons are quite fun. I promise. I'll think about it. Oh, and bring your friend Phil, too. I haven't seen him on the basketball court for weeks. Yes, well, he's having a rough time. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll stop by the Larners one of these days to say hello. Well, I won't keep you any longer, Noel. It was lovely to see you. Say hello to your mother. Back to the mines. Oops, we have a guest. Mom's gonna go crazy. The inhabitant, say hi to the worm. Today is payday. Do you just uh, help yourself to your check? That doesn't seem right. Are we selling Koopa's cherry juice again? Gross. There's nothing over here. Okay. Thanks for the awesome gift, Mom. I'm so excited to go to Anime Con this year. I wish I had someone to go with. You have two tickets now. Maybe Phil will break his lockdown to go with you. I don't think he can choose when to fill ill or not, Mom. Well, what about that boy, Brian? I've seen you spending a lot of time together. Brian has never seen an anime in his life. But who knows? I might be able to drag him into the cult. Hey, Mom. Hmm. About Phil. His parents canceled his bank account and he can't order food? Mm -mm. Stop right there. The answer is no. We don't do loans. But Mom... Phil has a family who takes care of him. He's not our responsibility. We give free food to Miss Potter every month. Is she, her, is she our responsibility? She has no one. It's not the same. Phil's parents don't care about him. Phil's parents only want to keep up appearances. They don't care about his mental health. Please, Mom. He needs our help. That's enough. I'm not going to be the villain in this movie. Bring him whatever you want, but it will come out of your pocket. <sighs> okay, I guess that's fair. And now go change. We have work to do. I thought we had the afternoon off. Noelle. Wednesday. 5.05 p.m. Whoopee. Help us save Sparkle. Our kitten was attacked by two crows on Main Street. Oh no. We don't have enough money to pay for vet expenses. We need your help. Donate now at. Were the Ravens in the, um, the nanny? I don't remember. I don't even want to know. Why is everyone in this game so incurious? One more for my paperweight collection. Rock rocks. Find the pebble. Okay. 
Let's be careful. I don't want the learners to catch me bringing stuff up to Phil. I'll leave the bags under his window. I should let him know the bags are here, or the bottles will explode in this cold. <laughs> That's cute. You're the best. I don't know what I'd do without you. Don't thank me. You owe me $74. Oh, I added a complimentary chocolate bar. To celebrate my birthday. Oh, shit. I forgot. Sorry. It's hard to keep track of the calendar in here. Happy birthday. Don't sweat it. You owe me $74 and a nice gift. Promise. By the way, make sure to close your waste containers tightly. Your garden smells horrible. Yikes. Sorry. I'll be more careful next time. I'm out of here. My ass is freezing. Enjoy the chocolate bar. Phew. Thank goodness. One more day without food and I'd start looking like One-Eyed Willy. Okay, time to refill the pantry. This looks much better. Home delivery. Satisfy your hunger. As for you. Ah, hazelnuts. My favorite. That's what they said in the other game, too. Please don't be dad. Philip, are you there, my dear? Oh, no. You have a visitor. It's Father Adams. Hello, Phil. I hope you're doing well. Your mom says you're feeling a bit down lately. If there's anything I can do to help, you can talk to me, okay? There's nothing to be ashamed of. The Lord tests our resilience by putting challenges in front of us. I pray for you, my son. And please, don't forget your parents are suffering too. Be compassionate with them. Thank you, Father. I appreciate you coming here. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. Oh, you absolutely were. For me, at least. Would you like some tea, Father? That would be lovely. Thank you. I'll have the chance to admire that impressive hunting trophy in your dining room. It's from three years ago. Jacob is very proud of it. Fuck this town. Is our roof gonna collapse? Bill, you are my biggest disappointment. I'll get your ass out of this room dead or alive, you hear me? No. Oh, shit. My stomach. Let's 
game is gross. This is not good. Not good at all. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm dying. I barely ate yesterday. Why am I so sick? Maybe I could find an online doctor. It hurts a lot. Shit. Oh. Fuck. Maybe if I wait a little longer, I'll feel better. Maybe not. It's very late, but I should probably ask for help. Piper? Piper, are you awake? I need your help. Oh. oh, it hurts. Are you awake? I'm very sick. My stomach hurt, hurts like hell and I can't stop throwing up. What should I do? I have no meds here. can't stand it anymore. I have to do it. I have to go out. Everyone's sleeping now. I could go down to the bathroom and get something for the pain without being noticed. Alright. I'm going out. Oh. Come on, Phil. You can do it. I can do it. I just need to go downstairs, pick up the meds, and come back. Quick and quiet. Ugh. Disgusting. That's what I'm saying. Here's the hunting trophy. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, no, no. Rose, could I please have a glass of water too? Sure thing. Was close. Okay, let's keep going. Oh. Pain is killing me. I need to find something for my stomach. There has to be something in here for the pain. Let's see. Cough syrup, cream tube, cream pot, pills, pills, eye drops. Painkillers? This might work. Find the medicine. Ugh. Should go back to my room before someone finds me. Okay. Carefully. Congratulations, you've completed your first 100 steps this month. Welcome back to a healthy, active life. Shut up, shut up. Fuck. I hope no one heard it. Okay, come on, Phil. Let's try this again. Can you imagine not taking 100 steps in a month? 
Philip, you finally left your room. I knew you'd make it, son. I'm so proud of you. Let's celebrate like a family. <gasps> Phil? Indeterminate day, 11.15 a.m. Shit, shit, shit. Those fucking nightmares ever stop? Lisa's stomach ache was part of the dream. I don't think my heart can take this much longer. Perhaps these night terrors are a symptom of my reclusive life. Anyway, I have another exciting day ahead. Let's leave him alone, Jacob. I don't think he knows anything about Piper. He's a learner. If that devil girl runs away from home, it's his duty to help us find her. It's time she emptied her closet, though. What if she's gone for good? If that's the case, good riddance. She can look for the family she deserves in hell. She broke her boyfriend's arm two days ago, and now this? Poor Jake. She just pushed him, but he had a... Poor Jake. She just pushed him, but he had a bad fall. I'm so ashamed. His parents must think we raised a savage. But if we didn't have enough with her, this lazy son of yours. Bah, what a waste of time. Why even bother? He's probably sleeping or playing video games. Only things he's, the only things he's interested in. Fuck. Come on, Piper, don't lose your mind now. Are you there? I heard my parents talking. Piper ran away from home. She took all her things. I don't think she's coming back. I'm worried. Honestly, good for her. What? Oh no! Hey, don't worry, okay? She'll be back as soon as she runs out of money. This time I have a bad feeling. You know that Piper can be a bit unpredictable. Maybe she's with that boyfriend of hers? Don't think so. They had a small fight. There were some broken bones. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, she's having a very rough time. Her world is crumbling down and I'm not there for her. Maybe she needs someone else to talk to? A professional? Come on, it's my fucking family we're talking about. Who needs a shrink when you have the church? I'll keep my ears open, okay? I'll tell you if I hear anything. Something wrong, honey? Phil's sister, Piper, she ran away from home. Again? Didn't she leave last month, too? I feel for the learners. They must be going through a lot with those two kids. Ah, the phone is ringing non-stop today. What's up, neighbor? Hey, Brian. My fridge is worrying low, worryingly low on beer. I'm getting some six-packs before I suffer my stepfather's wrath. You know where they are? Hey, thank you for spending time with me yesterday. It was fun. Did you think about the anime con thing? Will you come with me? Well, I'm a bit freaked out being surrounded by geeks like you. But how could I refuse? Of course I'll go. Awesome. We'll have a great time. I promise. One of us. One of us. Did you get that reference? The what? Oh, by the way. How high is your tolerance for cringe? Uh, mid to low? Enough to wear a Yuru Nyan costume at the convention? 
I can't show off my Jiuneko cosplay without a Yuri Nyan, without a Yuru Nyan by my side. I didn't understand a word you said, but okay, I guess. Whatever makes you happy. Brilliant. Not that it was negotiable. Good morning, Mrs. Hayashi. Hello, Brian. Noel, we need to talk. Please come to the office. Sure, Mom. Something wrong? I'll wait for you inside. Nice to see you, Brian. Uh oh. Uh oh, a reprimand is coming. Did you put the soda on the wrong shelf? You idiot. I'll be right back. What's wrong, Mom? Please sit down. It was Faith on the phone, your father's girlfriend. Oh? He's been feeling unwell these past few weeks, so he went for a checkup. They found a tumor in his lung. He got the test results today, and... Mom, I'm so sorry, honey. Faith said it's very widespread. He doesn't have much time left. <laughs> no, this, this can't be happening. Where the hell are you, Noel? Been silent for hours. Come on, I need to talk to you. Hey. I'm sorry I didn't log in earlier. I got terrible news. I'm trying to process it. What happened? It's my father. He's very ill. Terminally ill. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Noel. Tomorrow I'll be flying to Chicago. I need to be by his side. Sure. I understand. When are you coming back? I don't know. I want to be with him throughout the process. Maybe a few months. As much time as he has left. I just wanted you to know. Months? No, no, I'll wait. I'll text my next, I'll take my next semester online. And Brian will replace me at the shop. What? I'm sure he'll lend you a hand in whatever way he can. Brian? No, that idiot will leave me to starve. Please, you can't leave. I need you here with me. Stop. Phil, stop. But I can't keep going without you. You're the only person who cares about me here. What the fuck is all this, Phil? My father's dying. No. I, I can't lose you. What am I supposed to do? Fuck you, Phil. I love you, but you're being a selfish asshole. Please, Noel. If you leave, I'll do something crazy, I swear. No, no, no. This can't be happening. You're the only thing that keeps me going. Please stay. I promise to do better. To be the person you want me to be. 
Fuck. No. What the hell, Phil? Emotional blackmail? Seriously? Don't you ever say that shit again. Damn. This can't be happening. Nothing will change, I promise. We'll keep texting each other like we do now. Phil? Phil? Remember? Are we in a coma? Enough. Don't you dare leave me like this. You're scaring me. Please answer. I still don't remember, do you? It's us. Remember. Is this going to be an untold stories twist where we caused our sister's death and then wound up in a coma? Hey, are you okay? It's so unfair. As if I didn't have enough with Dad dying, now Phil is acting like an asshole. I told him I'm leaving and he went nuts. He was really upset. I'm afraid he might do something stupid. Don't say that. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Moving to Chicago is the right decision, you hear me? You deserve to enjoy some time with your father while you can. Don't let Phil or anyone else ruin this for you. I know, but I'm his only friend. I'm afraid he might have a mental breakdown without my help. Okay, listen, if you really think he might hurt himself, let's call his parents. We need to warn him. No, no they'll use it as an excuse to break his door down and force him out. But that would prevent him from getting hurt, wouldn't it? I guess you're right. I'm gonna call them. No answer. They might be out looking for Piper. I'm going to his place. I need to make sure he's all right. Fine, but I'm going with you. It's late. Phil. Phil? Remember now?
We found her at the bus station, sleeping on a bench. She was waiting for the night bus to Los Angeles. Los Angeles? What the hell were you thinking, you stupid fool? Oh. Jesus Christ, Piper. Well, my work here is done. I'll ask the station to close the incident. And Jacob, don't be too hard on her. My Diane is the same age and, well, what can I tell you? Puberty destroys their little brains. Thanks, Gabe. I appreciate all you've done. Should I bring Piper some soup? She might be starving. No, this has gone too far. We're going to have dinner like a family for once. So go and drag your sister down here. I want her sitting in this chair, now. You heard your father. <sighs> We're not gonna find Piper alive, are we? Piper! It's me! Open the door! I think Father will call the army if you don't come down right now. Piper! Okay, I'm coming in. Where the hell are you now? I could go to bed and skip dinner. No son of Piper here. Did she run away again? What? Piper, what are you doing? Hey. Hang on a second. I'll give him one less chance. Nothing. Why don't we ring the doorbell like normal people? Resilient plant, still alive in this cold. So vintage. Looks like the learners don't check the mailbox very often. Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Larner? God, Mom. What if they found Phil injured and went to the hospital? Or maybe they went out and Phil's in there all alone, dying. We have to go in. Honey, we can't just break into a house. I know something's wrong, Mom. I really do. They must have a spare key hidden somewhere. Oh. We're gonna end up in jail. You could be a good hiding place for a key. Looks like the head can be detached somehow. Fuck it, no time for this. Noel. Uh 
Aha! I knew it. Door lock. Find the key. You better stay out. Just in case someone comes. If you see someone coming, shout. Do you do this often? Don't like that. Phil? <sighs> What's the smell? Where the hell's light switch? God, that must smell awful. It's been over a month. Remember. What? Piper, what are you doing? Hey. Another blackout? Really? Rose, where's the flashlight? Piper, but what? Piper, no! My god, what have you done? Darling? Do you remember? Shadows keep asking me over and over. My nightmares are taking shape and I'm afraid they hide a horrible truth. No, it's not possible. I have to go out, downstairs, look for answers. My mind remains a blur. Many images pile up in a disjointed mess. But deep inside, I know something terrible happened in this house. Hello? Is anyone home? Phil, what the fuck have you done? I... How could you? You're a monster. No. I... Father. Mother. Oh no. Hyper. Stay away from me. I didn't. This can't be happening. 
You don't understand. I remember now. It wasn't me. It was... But I don't understand. I've been talking to you all this time. I heard your voices. Noel, you have to help me. Please. Oh no. I saw it, Noel. I saw Piper falling into the abyss and I... I should have done... more. <sighs> Bill! Noel, what's going on? My god. Mom, call the police, quick. Boy has a lot to explain. Everything points to the girl murdering her parents. Then she turned the weapon on herself and... What carnage. Can't remember a case like this since the Johnstons. That was 15 years ago. Did you see the boy's room? What a mess. Who knows how long he's been locked up there. Poor kid. I guess he snapped after witnessing that horror. I don't blame him. Come on. Let's finish cordoning off the area. It's starting to get crowded here. I'm sorry you had to see that, honey. Do you think you could come with me to the station? We need your statement. Of course, whatever you need. Uh, Sheriff? Will he be okay? Doctor says he's in shock and dehydrated, but he'll recover. Don't worry about him. He'll, f he'll be fine. How could I be so blind? All this time. Don't blame yourself. It's not worth it. No one knows what people are going through. We each suffer on our... We each suffer our own hell in silence. And that concludes tonight's episode. Poor Phil. He has a long road ahead to recover the light of his existence. The safe place he was hiding in turned out to be just a figment of his imagination. But on the other hand, isn't it for everyone? Make sure to shut the doors and windows tightly. Take a look inside your closet and under your bed before you go to sleep. You never know what kind of horrors are looking in the dark. We'll see you soon in the next episode of Midnight Scenes. Real life, you made it to the end. Susanna.
for playing, streaming, watching this game. We'll be... All right, so that is currently the latest episode of Midnight Scenes. I feel a little bit conflicted about that episode because... The scene-to-scene -scene writing is so well done. You are getting so much stronger as a writer. But I feel like the meta story just didn't click for me. Um, I think that if the, the calls to remember had been placed earlier in the story, that it might have been stronger. Because it establishes that he's in his room, he's scared of whatever's outside, it's these shadow creatures... Um, we know that there's one of his father. We know that there's one of, uh, the neighbor. Um, we see the, the shotgun, uh, in that one dream that he has, but the individual nightmares, we don't know what's real, what's not real. Um, the unreliable narrator, uh, because it has an unreliable narrator, it comes off less, um, less shocking than it could be. Uh, we know that he's not aware of what's real and what's not anymore. Um, so we know that there's something that's keeping him in his room and that horrific event. It's kind of hard to dig to guess. I had assumed that he had probably done something and hurt his sister. There's all that set up at the beginning about him supposing supposed to be his sister's superhero. And him failing in that, I thought that that was what that was pointing towards is that somehow the sister got hurt and it was his fault. Really, it's the sister's fault. The sister has done everything. Uh, she's had it with mom. She's had it with the dad. She is going to take control. Um, and the only way that she knows how to do that is through violence because she can't run away. Um, so I the scene to scene is very good. I, I will not deny that. The scene to scene is very good. Uh, the meta story just doesn't quite click for me. Um, and it was less scary than the other games. Um, the nanny and the, uh, the from the woods are what I'm, I'm thinking of when I say the other games. I don't think that the first two were scary. I think that they were supposed to be more sci-fi horror. Um, so I, I'm basing this in relation to uh, the nanny and from the woods. I think that those two games were scarier. Um, I think that the first two had kind of more thought provoking nature to them where the first one was like uh, something has happened in the small town and this woman is just trying to get home uh, and she's getting caught up in whatever it is. Uh, and then the one with the, the scientist who uh, I, I forget what the twist is there, um, but he's trying to get away from this thing uh, that keeps following him. Um, those two are a little bit more thought provoking and those two are a little bit more like, um, where, where is, uh, where's the story headed? This one had that, where's the story headed? Um, I wish that it was a little bit more scary. I wish that the, the horror elements were a little bit more solid. Um, I think that's where I'm landed. Uh, I'm conflicted about this game. Uh, I do think that you're getting better as a writer. I do think that you're getting better as a game maker. Um, I didn't feel like the twist in this one hit for me. Um, I am hoping that in the next one, there's a little bit more of that hit. Uh, and this one had a little bit of heart with Noel. Um, I really liked learning about Noel and Brian and um, all of the, the little inhabitants of this town. Uh, there was a cool rear window-ish quality to this one where you were looking at the other inhabitants. I would love it if each of the people in this town had this little story, this little vignette, um, so that they were a little bit more fleshed out. Uh, if you could have like a story where there's like an apartment building and you get to meet all of the different people um, and then the creepy stuff starts happening uh, and you you know that uh, each person in this this apartment – um, let's say that there's, there's six apartments in this building 
Uh, so you get to meet these six inhabitants, uh, and then creepy stuff starts happening, and you're not sure who's going to do uh, or who's going to get hurt, uh, who's doing it, things like that. Um, and so there wasn't really that kind of mystery. There wasn't really that kind of tension. There wasn't a, a bunch of like uh, meat outside of the core game. Uh, and the core game, as I said, I think that the writing is very strong. Um, I just wish that there was uh, more. Yeah, I, I think that I wish that there was more. Um, I think that if you had started with the remembering theme earlier in the story, it might have hit harder for me. Uh, cause I wish that I knew that he was trying to forget something, um, from the start. If I knew what he was, that he was trying to forget something, I might've been more invested in him remembering. Uh, and then those dream elements that keep popping up the shadow with the shotgun, his dad with the shotgun, the hole in the wall, uh, the hole in the ceiling, all that stuff. We can start piecing that stuff, stuff together and guessing where it's going to go. Um, the remembering stuff didn't happen until about the last third of the game, I think. Um, and so once it starts being that, remember what happened, remember me, remember what happened, um, that's when it, it kind of starts pushing you in that direction. I wish that it had started earlier. Uh, so those are my thoughts. Um, It's hard because I like this. I like this game. Uh, I like the characters. I like the writing. I'm not sure it just didn't do it for me. So that's where I stand. Um, let me know in the comments if you disagree. Um, let me know if uh, you think that this is the best game. Um, let me know if you think that I should play other games like this, adventure horror games, uh, pixel games, things like that. Um, yeah. I, I, uh, I like midnight scenes. I want to, I want to make that clear. I like midnight scenes. Uh, this episode, I just didn't, didn't get behind it. So, yeah. Thank you all for joining me tonight for another night of strange and scary games. I love you. I will see you in the next video and I hope that you have a good night.